Assalamu alaikum musibbe on jarama musibbe awa awa hande kadi en ari wadugol e darsugo jangen hala men hala pular welcome guys welcome again hi hi everyone and welcome and i hope that you guys are fine and yeah let's uh, continue with our uh, midwife plus series and let's go into um, uh, the text three text three okay we've done with the core chapters or for, for those of you who who just um, i mean tuned in uh we are we are covering a book called midwife pular and that book will teach us the pular language okay so we are done with the core chapters so now yeah uh, we've started also you know the, the the appendix section and now we are covering text number three okay we are covering a, a series of texts very very rich text that will teach us vocabulary a lot of new words a lot of grammar so it's really packed a lot of drama and vocabulary is packed into those texts. So today we're gonna to see text three. Okay, let's go. Okay. Uh, okay. This text is titled "Kobingu Rekala Hani Andude Filabal." Kobingu Rekala. Hani and the filabal. What every family should know about hygiene. What every family should know about about hygiene or about cleanliness. Labal means cleanliness. Being with it, you guys already know. You are advanced learners now. Being with it means family. Hanugal means should. Okay, hanugal. Andude, hani andude should know. Okay, bengure kala every family. Ko bengure kala what every family should know about cleanliness. Okay, let's go. So dor goldiang esabunde wara imi koro buji kasa iti marade ebandudu. Ko dunga hadata ko dunga hadata di wonde enyamete. Ena tu gol maji ka hundu ko. Bengure kala no hani joga de ndia la udang e sabunde fi no folo tira jude mu. Fi no folo tira jude mu. I think no need for this extra e sound here. No folo tira jude mu. No hiti fota ka jude den sodore ndia e sabunde. De oti gi iutiri ka hurgo ma ado onyamu de ekadi de odi gi gaini de lapingol paikum ma bobo risilo no hitti kadi ka odi gi lota jude mu si o me mi nyame keji di defaka fere burnde mo yande danda be ngure fi hebugol mi korobu jidin ko haw koygol resa jidin ka hani don Yimbe ben no wawi bennu de koy kulloy si koy hewti kandi ka nyamete ka jude e ka defete do be ngure den no hani lo gol dia yarete dan dan e der mira labulo ommotodo hay sindian dan no labi hay sindian dan no labi e kene hidang ara wondu de emikoro buji ndiyam urda labu de dang ko ndiyam iwdang e pombe si hawri ko kacandi ma ka boyli dang iwi ko hasi ko haray hidan wondi emikoro buji haray hidan wondi emikoro ko fatin gol ndiyam dang warata emikoro buji de ko wedan fatine dam uttine woni ko e changol ma e woynu ma e pompi dan yoga nyameteji di defa kadin kenen haray no wondi e mikoro buji haray be haray be di lote haray be di lote should be be haray be di lote ma di defe ko en der nyameteji wuldi mikoro mikoro buji din burata layude 
ko dum wadi sino hani ka nyame teji din no di defira di nyame kisan si hauri nyame teji di marete de di nyame ko yo di wulnite okay guys yeah that's the text all right let's go into the vocab and the translation okay so dor gol ndiang e sabunde to wash your hands so so da gol means to wash your hands so dor gol ndia now why is called so dor gol we already we've already seen this we already covered it this is an infix so dor when you are instead of saying so da gol so da gol sorry so da gol to wash your hands to wash your hands or to wash one's hands so that good. but so when you add this or infix so dorgol means to wash your hands with okay this infix it are the meaning of with now with what ndiang esabunde water and so now to wash your hands to wash one's hands with water and soap what does it do warai mikorobuji gasai di mare de bandudum it kills the bacteria that hides in the body okay the bacteria that hides in the body marugol means to hide or to save or to, or to keep okay that is kept in the body but that hides in the body kono hadata di wonde e nyamete e natu kol majji ka hundu ko dum hadata it is that thing this thing the action of washing your hands with soap and water that uh don't let them be inside food nyamete and enter inside the mouth hundu Bengure kala every family no hani should jogade how ndia labudan clean water e sabunde and so fino food so that everyone lotira jude mun fino food lotira jude mun so that everyone will wash his hands no hit the fota it is important no hit the hit to go means to be important it is important it, no hit the fata it is very important ka jude den so dire ndiang sabun de that fear uh, that that um no, hands are washed with water and soap they all to give you the kahurgo when uh, uh, the person when someone otigi sorry guys otigi means someone uh the individual uh someone and they so no hit the fota it is no, it's very important can you didn't so the indian sabun that hands are washed with water and soap when the otigi utire ka hurgo whenever the person comes from the toilet hurgo means toilet washroom ma or ado onyamu de before he eats ekadi and also and also the otigi gai ni la bingol baiku and also when the, uh, the person finishes uh cleaning cleaning a uh, a kid a child i mean uh cleaning him after he he does number 2 okay ma bobo resido or a baby who who i mean who who defecated who pooped okay ma bobo resido resagol means to defecate to do number 2 okay that's called resagol 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 is usually used for babies it's usually used for babies but it can also be used like as a sign of respect as a sign of respect but most of the times it's used for babies you say bobo resike the baby has pooped okay defecated has defecated okay no hit kadi it is also important ka otigi lota jude mu si o memi nyamete gidi defata 
It is also important that a person washes his hand after he touches uncooked food. Uncooked food, like uncooked meat, okay? Something like that. It's important that the person washes his hand, his or her hands. Fair, but I'm not going to do it. 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 The most... Fair, but I'm not going to do it. The most important means, fair means a means, means of doing something. The most important means for what? For preventing the family or protecting the family from getting those bacteria, it's what? It's to throw away the uh, the uh, uh, how it's called the like the the the, the poo from, from from the baby and so on okay the dirty stuff the poo and so on from the baby where uh where are we sorry guys kahani <laughs> dong where it should be thrown kahani okay where it should be thrown, kahani tong, where it should be thrown. Okay, that's very important. So here, how kugal, how koi, how kugal means to, 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 to throw, to discard, to discard. You can also say hai kugal. You can say hai kugal. You can say how kugal. Okay, hai kugal, how kugal. Now this infix hai koi gal. Now when you add this infix. You put it in the middle of the word, it puts the meaning of going to do it, going to discard. Okay, guys, these infixes are very important. So, how you go to throw away, to discard. Hai koi gol or how koi gol is the same, means it now it has the meaning of to go and throw away. To go throw away, to go throw away, to go and throw away. What what am I writing? To go throw away, to go and throw away. Okay, that's what how oi this the oi now it have that meaning. Yi me ben noa we pen nu de koi kuloi si koi healthy kandia. People can swallow. Pen nu gal means to swallow. Those beasts, those small microorganisms, okay? Beast, kulung means a beast or an or organism, bacteria, kulung. Kulung means a small beast, a small, um, you know, it can be an insect or small, uh, here in this case, a mic microorganisms, okay? Si koi healthy kan diang, people can swallow those beasts, those small microorganisms, when? when they reach, when they touch the water, when they reach the water. So basically, if you throw it, wherever you throw it, you are in those villages, those, uh, you know, uh, those, you know, villages. If you do that, it can go in, inside the water, right? Because the it can go inside the water. You have to throw it somewhere else, right? So that it doesn't go to the wells or, or to the, you know, to, to the water, to the water underneath the earth. Okay? So, if they reach the water. Okay? Or the food. The water. The food. The hands. And to the kitchen, the place where we cook. Okay? No, I want Kakuri. Okay? Where we cooked, where we cook, okay? The place where we cook. Pingure in the honey, low gold, the ayarite, and then mira labu do omotoro. Okay, uh, so, fair a burne mojande. Oh, oh, no, sorry, we were here. Pingure in the honey, low gold, the ayarite, and then mira labu do omotoro. The family should should uh, put 
the drinking water into clean a clean utensil okay mirror means utensil not only anything any kitchenware okay that's what miram means into a a, 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 a clothable a clothable utensil okay a clean clothable utensil labudo ombotodo a clean clothable utensil okay so that's where we should put the drinking water ndiang yarete dang drinking water ndiang yarete dang drinking water hay si ndiang nan no labi e kene hidang ara wondude e mikorobuje okay here there shouldn't be any comma here it should be hay si ndiang nan no labi e kene comma hidang ara wondude e mikorobuje ekene sometimes no ekene okay uh, here there the mistake in translation it's not it's not kene that means so it's kening kening means sometimes kening but ekene means at the surface at the outside that what ekene means so actually the sentence mean hay sin di and no lab even though the water is clean on the outside he dang ara would won do the emicro sometimes it happens that like there are bacteria inside even it's clean on the outside on the naked eye ekene so here ekene that would mean sometimes it mean on the outside because kening kening if i say kening me ke kenen for example kenen mi yara sini nyama sini nyama nyama kenen mi nyama sini yara sini yara okay so like sometimes i drink before i eat before eating sometimes i eat before drinking kenen but here a kenen means on the outside on the outside okay so hai sini and an la bi a kenen comma even if the water is clean on the outside it a lot of wound the emicrobial she can come with or be with microbuji bacteria ndiam burda labude dan ko ndiam iwda e pompi the cleanest water okay is the one that comes from the tap pompi means tap the cleanest See how do you catch and the mark up oil in the way? If it arises that, if it happens, if it happens that it comes from triangle. Triangle means how? How do you say triangle? Yes, yeah, streams, streams of water. I, I didn't have the word in mind. Okay. See how do you? If it happens. Ko kacha ni ma ka boyi dang iwi at it comes from the the the, the streams of water or oh, the wells boyi is the plural of woindu woindu means a well boyi wells okay see how do ko kacha ni ma ka boyi dang iwi if it arise that it it comes it originates from streams or wells ko hasi ko hara hi da wondi e mikorobu mi ko robo then usually it comes with uh bacteria ko hasi ko usual the usual thing is that okay ko fatin gol ndian dang wara ta microbe microbe is boiling the water that kills the bacteria ko dan fatine it should be boiled dan butine then cool down woni ko e changol whether it's from uh a stream ma a window or a or a well ma a pumpy than yoga or a tap that it comes from so whether it comes from a stream or a well or a tap it should be uh 
uh, uh, it should be boiled, then uh, then uh, then cooled down. Okay, your Google means to to take water from. Okay, your Google to take water from. Okay, so I think it ends here. Oh, there's some text in. Nya mete jidi defa kadi kening harai no wonde mikro yubuji uncooked food. Nya mete jidi defa kadi. Nya mete jidi defa kadi uncooked food. So how do we say cooked food? We say nya mete jidi defa di ding. How do we say cooked food? We say nya mete jidi. Nyamiteji defa kading nyamiteji defa di ding nyamiteji defa di ding. That's the opposite. Kening wa kening. So this is kening. So kening means sometimes. Okay, kening. Okay, so kening means sometimes. But a kening means on the outside or at the surface. Okay, guys, kenning, this one should be put here. Okay, guys, so nyamite di defa kading, kenning harai no wundi e mikrobuji. The uncooked food sometimes comes with uh, bacteria. Harai be ilote ma di defe. Harai, harai, so, harai, how do I translate harai? Harai, so it should be uh, washed or cooked. Harai be dilote, it has to be be dilote, be dilote means like it has to be washed, ma di defe, or cooked. Kwa endiri nya ameteji wuldi, mikoro buji di purata layude. It is in uh, hot food, hot food, that the bacteria. Uh, the bacteria spread what I think is the opposite right it's the opposite I think it's uh, uh, it's uh, what is he trying to say ko endat nyamite di wuldi mikro budi dem pura ta layude ko dum wadi sino hani ka nyamite di ding no di defira di nyame kisang si hauri nyamite di dem marete de hi di nyame Oh, it's the opposite. Kwa ender nya meteji di wula ding. It's the opposite, not wuldi. Ma, it should be kwa ender nya meteji putu di. It should be putu di in my opinion. Putu di instead of wuldi. Wuldi means hot. Putu di means uh, that is that cool is cool that is cool that has cooled down. So it is in like cold food that bacteria spread kodu wadisi that's why no hani ka nyame teji ding it is uh, important that food no di defira as soon as it's cooked ni nyame kisang it is immediately eaten yeah that's what makes sense see how ni nyame teji di marete if it arrives that or if it happens that uh, we have to keep the food now, once we want to eat them, we should uh, heat it. We should heat it. Okay? So, that's, so here it's the opposite, not wood. You can say, meaning that has cooled down, it's the opposite of wood. Or you can say, that is not hot. So that's uh, the, the your text today. So thanks guys for listening. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments. I'll make a second video to talk about the grammar. Okay? Talk about the grammar. Si Allah Jabi, si Allah Jabi. Aw haray onjaram. And saigo si Allah Jabi. And untuma si Allah Jabi. Bye.